getting hot. It's supposed to hit 105 today. Oh, snap a doo. Oh. Oh, yeah. That is a stout rod. Look at the bend. That's big. I don't know what it is, but it's big. It's on a pin pin. Everybody's always asking, why do you have those floats on your anchor? Well, here's a classic example. I don't want that fish to get tangled around that anchor rope, so I just detach. Ah. 15 minutes into this epic battle, and I don't know who's winning. Big old Kuma convector, and he's playing it like uh, like it ain't like it's a cane pole. There's the culprit. I should have known. It's like fighting a trash can lid that's been dipped in lead that can flap. We're gonna have to cut him loose. Adios, amigos. David's hooked up and just lost a big can. He's got another one. So I was just about to part ways with Dave and his nice king when this no happened. we undid that first one, he got another one on. <laughs> Grueling fight, he's been fighting for 10, 15 minutes. Oh, come on, bro. Oh boy. Oh my god. <laughs> That's a game changer. That's a beast. <laughs> that that is that is a I was sick. There you go then. If you're wondering why I'm stabbing him several times, I'm trying to get a headshot on him. That way it'll stun him and kill him. When we lift him into Dave's boat, it won't thrash around or hurt anything. Dave just said that was his last rattle trap. Rattle traps are killer to troll offshore for all sorts of species. Last rattle trap, man. <laughs> Come on. Last one. Out. <laughs> Kingfish, baby! <laughs> After limiting out on Kingfish, I thought I'd head to the rig and do some vertical jigging around the rig legs, around the structure. But no Kobe were to be found. In fact, nobody caught any Kobe of that day. Man, I was throwing this uh, this crankbait for, for uh, Spanish, and a massive king just swiped me right at the boat. I mean, oh, I wish I'd had it on film. It was awesome. Just about the time the action got slow, Jess hooked up. Double hooker, baby, double hooker. This will be my second king. I already got one. Yeah. That was a double hooker, homie. Yeah. Jesse ended up losing that first king, but he still had another one on a spinning rod. You hear that, Paul? You hear that? Got ribbon fish in the water. I was just barely dropping it down. Started trolling with it. Swing your partner round and round. Oh my god. This king had Jesse going in circles, up, down, back, and forth, and it was towing him. Holy snap, dude. And around again. What are you talking about, baby? He's taking me out for a dance. We rode is a big one, folks. It's beautiful, freaking beautiful. Man, where the hell is Ty at, dude? That weird Ty thing's funny, but it's not. When somebody hooks up, the other guy always helps support. 
It just keeps it safer. Uh, I didn't know Jesse had a fish on at the time. Oh my God. Holy shit. Sorry for the cussing folks, but when you catch a kingfish this freaking big on your kayak, you know why. Look at this. It's beautiful, dude. And that's at the Corpus Christi Blue Water Kayak Classic. It's my first time BTB, and I got me a good sized king. What? As big as this king was, it did not place. But Jesse ended up taking first place in the Spanish mackerel division. Sabiki jigging. Some just cut my sabiki jig in half. I just drop it to the bottom, just start doing like that. Lift it up, let it fall, pull up a couple live baits, put them on a bigger rod. This is either Vermilion or Lane. All right, so let him go. Adios, amigo. Big kingfish leader with a big ribbon fish. Oh yeah. Oh here you go. Oh, oh, gosh, I'm on it. Oh, I'm starting to get close to this big platform. Hey. Got three good hooks on this rig, 40 pound mono. I'm gonna put my feet in until I see if he's a shark or not. Yes, that's another king. We're killing them, folks. We're killing them. That's what, that's what happens when you don't get them in the head. Thrash and bash. Get them behind the head. You get it. You get them stunned. But I, this is not a good stick. <laughs> yes, sir. Uh, that's what I'm talking about. Bam. What? Woo. King on ice and everything is nice. I'm tired you're watching 30 miles out. What a great day. Time to put it on the beach. I'm going to make a few casts just to make sure I don't run into a Spanish mackerel. Man, what a lot of fun. Come join us next year at the Blue Water Kayak Classic in Corpus Christi, Texas. Kanga, and I just got caught. <laughs>